Hi, this is Andrew, and welcome to Apps with Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between lowercase self and a capitalized self in Swift. Due to the Apple documentation, every instance of a type has an implicit property called self, which is exactly equivalent of the instance in self. You use the self property to refer to the current instance within its own instance methods. So what does it mean? It means that we can refer to the instance itself when we need to do that. And when we need to do that, if we have some ambiguity. So we need to find out which exact property we want to use in this particular case. Let's go to the examples. I'm going to create a struct person with the properties name and age. Okay. So now we have struct, so let's add an initializer date. If we try to assign value of initializer to our properties of person, we are getting an error that we're trying to assign to a let constant. Swift compiler complains because it doesn't know which property we wanted to assign. And when we add in self, which refers to the instance self in our case person, we eliminated this ambiguity by telling compiler to assign to a name from init to a name inside of the instance. Okay, so what's about capitalized version of self? Capitalized version of self is nothing else that's that type itself. Let's create a method make disguise for our person, which returns capitalized self. In our case, it will be just person. Let's add name Bob and a int uh, integer dot random to randomize age from 1 to 99 and return lowercase self. In our case, it will be the value of person. Let's create Alice and assign it a person with name Alice and the age 22. Let's call Alice make disguise and try to print it. So Alice return type of person. Alice has type person and may this guys also return a person type. 